Now let's go to Asogli State for a very interesting story, isn't it? Particularly interesting story. Okay, let me get out of the screen, stand this way so you can see the two protagonists, Kennedy Japan. So the story begins with the shock on social media, says Asogli State returns Kennedy Japan's whatever present gift. I've received an invitation to the Yam Festival before, of course, certainly not in the recent past, but I received an invitation to the Yam Festival before. So you don't attend the Yam Festival until you have received an invitation, isn't it? So the news came around that Canada Japan had actually been invited. And the uh, supporters of Canada Japan were, were beside themselves with a lot of rage and, and, uh, and said that, ah, you've invited us to a festival. We come and we know that we are going to a chief's palace. The culture of us Ghanaians is that you're going to a chief's palace. You send presents and gifts. It's, it has nothing to do with what we think about the personality of the chief. It has a lot to do with the respect of the state that the chief represents. That's what Canada Japan supporters were saying. That we didn't just get up and go there. They sent us an invitation. And so we got the invitation and we decided that you are going to a festival. Every important person, member of parliament, DC, da, 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 all important people, when they are attending events like that, you don't go to a two-force palace empty-handed. No way. You don't go to an Akwesida empty-handed. No way. You don't go to an Ojira empty-handed. No way. You don't go to a monochrome empty-handed. No way. So you are going to Asogli, you, you, you take things. That's, that's standard practice, isn't it? It's a practice that we have endured for hundreds of years, okay? So Canada and Japan, in keeping with the cultural standards, decided to present the gifts. He presented the gifts, he said, hey, we don't want your gift. You said this about Toby, you said that, what are you bringing us a gift for? So he's beside himself with surprise. Ah, you don't want my gift, why did you send me an invitation? Okay, so now we have the story. It is now being reported by the Asogli state itself that somebody in the Asogli state erroneously sent the um, invitation to Kennedy and Japan. Hmm, how is that possible? But he writes in the statement, let's go to the statement and see what he puts in the statement. Uh, so that's Tobi Afede and Kennedy and Japan. Now this is the statement, it's on the Asogli state letterhead. And you know that I'm quite familiar with this letterhead, don't you know that? I'm very familiar with it. Okay, so Asogli state council, press statement, re, uh, so re just means in the matter of Rejection of gifts from Honorable Kennedy Japan. Okay, it is signed by a young man called Stephen Tete. He's the secretary, and he has his mobile phone number on the on the letterhead. Mobile phone number zero two four four three 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 six six zero something like that. And the letter is written on the twelfth of September, twenty twenty two. Let's get the contents as follows. He says, and I quote. I have read many reports and comments on the above subject matter, and would like to explain as follows. Honorable Mr. Kennedy A. Japan requested through his representatives for an invitation to attend some programs of the 2022 Asogli Teza Yam Festival. Okay. The leadership of the Asogli State Council, however, disapproved of it because of several loose comments and outrances he had made, which the council viewed as unbecoming of an honorable member of Ghana's parliament. The following are some of the headlines of stories. Uh, uh, uncomplimentary and insulting statements made by Mr. Kennedy in Japan, for which he has shown no remorse. Okay, let's move on. F uh, 1st April, uh, April 24, 2009, uh, uh, Kennedy Japan is reported to have said, Togbe Afede is a shameless opportunist. 2nd uh, April 2018, 2012, Kennedy Japan is reported to have said, I declare war in this country. Uh, but how does I declare war in this country become derogatory of, okay, maybe there's more. All right. November 7, 2018, quite recent, Togbe Afede is corrupt. He supervised fraudulent withdrawals of 31 million cities from NIB. Okay, let's move on. Uh, November 8, 2018. Togbe Afede is ethnocentric and an NDC stooge. His name can never intimidate me. And then, the 13th November 2018 again, even the president cannot stop me from chasing Togbe Afede out as NIB board chairman. Okay, so these are the statements that were reported to have made by Kennedy. And suffice it to say for us here, that uh, from the statements quoted by the Asogli State letter of April 24th, uh, April 18th, November 7th, November 8th, and November 13th. 
These are quotations that Asogli State is making of Canada and Japan. These are the statements of Canada and Japan. They are by no way our statements, and we do not necessarily believe in it. We do not know whether Togbe Afede is corrupt or NIB. We don't know. These are statements that are attributed to Canada and Japan and to him alone, nothing to do with us. And it's Asogli's uh, letterhead that is actually repeating uh, some of the things Canada and Japan has said. That quite surprised me a little bit because if I'm doing the letterhead, I will not repeat some of these things that he say about my kin on my letterhead. I said, I don't understand. You have this is as ugly state letterhead. This is where is it? This is your letterhead. Oh, okay. This is this is your letterhead, as ugly state council. And in the letterhead, the as ugly letterhead, the authority of the symbol of as ugly state, you are repeating derogatory remarks made about your kin. I, I was totally shocked. I, I, don't, I, I think we need a lot more. I don't know what we need in this country, but really, yeah, I'm writing I'm a Sogli state. This is my letterhead. This is the authority that symbolizes the authority of a Sogli. And you write, he says, Togbe Afede is corrupt on, on, on a Sogli letterhead. It should never appear. You should just say that he had made derogatory statements about Togbe Afede, so we will not accept. You don't repeat it on your letterhead. Mr. Stephen, what? You have to get your act together better. What is this? How can you be derogatory to your own chief? You are repeating derogatory, even, even defamatory remarks about your own chief on his letterhead. Togbe Afede should sack him. Dismiss this guy. Togbe Afede, sack this guy. He doesn't understand his work. What do you mean? You are writing on a Sogli state letterhead. Then you are writing things that somebody said, particularly derogatory, that even for us, as a TV station reporting it, we have to issue the disclaimer and I issue it again that these are the words of Kennedy Japan. They are by no means the words of Good Evening Ghana. You will go and write on us, talk me, you should see him for defamation. This guy, this Stephen, whatever his name, he doesn't understand his job. No wonder he issues erroneous, uh, uh, this thing, as ugly states. Uh, anyway, all right, so that's the story, yeah? That's the story. So, uh, because of that, uh, Togbe Afedes gifts have been rejected. Uh, by the Asogli state and uh, he will not get the gifts again. We are heading over to take a feed um, from what exactly that address of uh, King, the new monarch King Charles III will be. But before we do that, let's go to our first story. Information Class News has gathered this evening indicates that the Agbogomefia of Asogli state, Togwe Afe the 14th, chased out MP for Asin Central, Kennedy Ohini Ejepon, when the latter went to pay homage to the revered king at his palace in Ho as part of the Sogliam festival. Reasons for that Bubomafia's posture is still scanty. However, it's being attributed to past insulting pronouncements made by the said MP against the personality of the Bubomafia of a Sogli state, Togbe Upper the 14th. This was after the then president of the Volta Regional House of Chiefs, Togbe Apeda the 14th bemoaned the attitude of the new Patriotic Party administration, accusing them of treating Voltarians as outsiders. Well, we're trying to connect with the Asafo Fiachiami Jade of Bankwe uh, in the Sogli state for uh, more on this particular event that took place, we understand, a while ago. The videos are also on our social media platform. You can get to watch that. But of course, Asafo Fiachiami uh, Jade of Ho Bankwe is on the line. Good evening. Good evening, can you hear me? Right. Can you confirm that it uh, truly, Togbe Afeda the 14th, can you hear me? One minute for me. Yeah, I am here. I can hear you. Very well. Please, can you confirm to our listeners and to the public that Togbe Afeda indeed chased out the MP for Asin Central, Kennedy, Ohine Japan? What can I say? We are still enjoying the good times here in Hobankwe. The Yam Festival is on and everything is going on well. We have not even, you know, we, we are not done with today's program yet. However, I'm receiving several calls from several courses talking about uh, social media circulations that talk about the hashtag Kennedy, Kennedy Japan and all that. Um, I don't know what to say. He hasn't given me permission to speak on his behalf, but I... Uh, I'm not sure the way it's being couched is how it's circulating. But I, I can only say that he came here though. But then it's just that we had um, a very tall list of representations and representatives from uh, uh, other uh, groups. 
I see trying to explain what exactly happened. Uh, uh, but before you go on, uh, Toby, I just want you to know that we have videos as well of that one, particularly on our stage. So let's uh, hear you. Me, I am, uh, I am delighted that you called me. We are still in procession mm. with uh, with Toby Gaffer. Uh, okay. A lot today we've had a lot of visitors coming in all over from all companies, all institutions, corporate organizations that are resident in Go and uh, chiefs from other places have also visited us. We had a lot of time today with our, uh, with, with ourselves. And so um, I, I want to say I thank everybody who tried as much as possible to be here to celebrate with us. Tomorrow is a grand ceremony. Uh, we wish that all will be here to grace the occasion for us. Going forward on the matter, um, when he came, I received him, actually. I received Honorable Kennedy Jafon to go and greet the chiefs. And then we found a place for him to sit. And then we got them water and others. And so um, uh, I was the one who was prompted to tell the, the MC that uh, he has another program at UPSA at five, and that if we could keep him so that he will be announced and then his donations and gifts will be received before he, run, he goes away, that will be fine. So I also say I'll, I'll take the matter to the seniors or the people who are on the high table. So we told them, and the organizers were like, every other person who came to the program was equally important. Or is it equally important? You understand me? And that people have been teaching, organizations have been teaching since morning. Some like Bank of Ghana, some like Ghana Commercial Bank, a prison, a uh, artillery regiment, and other institutions which it has not gotten to their tent. And so if we should just keep him, which on normal grounds will not spoil anything, but thinking that other people will be offended by the fact that they they gave favoritism to him will not be proper. The Asafo or Asafo or all the, the drumming and dancing groups were with him. In fact, the municipal... Asafo, can you, can, you, can you hear me, Togwe? So what it yeah. means is that, what I get is that you are being diplomatic with the issue. I want to know whether or not... No, because I sat there throughout. Yes. What happened last minute was that we, 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 he, he was, he was not talking to his friends, but they realized that they were getting late. Mm -hmm. So they decided to just move away. Okay. So I'm saying that, is it true or not that, that Togbega had turned away the MP? No, yeah, he was not turned away. Is he it true not, that he was chased he was out? He not away. Togbega just said that he didn't even say anything. Togbegan waited. Please, Class FM, get this one right. Mm -hmm. Togbegan didn't sack him. Togbegan allowed him so that he could get to his tent. We that, saw... That where the where were the drinks and the things packed? Uh, why were, was it packed from the palace outside? He was not packed, so I beg you. No, the packed. packed. Why were the drinks, the gifts he brought? No, they packed them away. Because they realized we were, we were delaying them. So they, they decided to walk away. With their drinks and all that, you see. So, uh -huh. because all the people who came, the institutions, what they presented it themselves, like one on one. So, Asa Fofia, tell me, what you are saying is that I brought a drink, I brought some gifts to uh, a chief, a revered king like Togbega, only for me to ask for time. I was not giving. I pack away my gift. That's enough disrespect even to the throne, is it not? No, you, uh, we, we, we didn't send him away. You see, that is why we are not getting right, though. We didn't turn him away. 